Hey guys, it's Devin and welcome back to my channel. Sorry that the lighting is not as good as it normally is, but I wanted to do a hair tutorial for you guys and this is the best way I could think of doing it and I could actually see myself in the mirror. <laughs> so I know that the lighting isn't as good as usual, but you gotta work with me because I have to film at night when my kids are in bed and I don't have a lot of natural light. So this is what we're gonna do. Anyway, so this um, video is going to be three quick, easy hairstyles. For those of you that don't know, Yes, I'm a mom of two, but I'm also a hairdresser. I work part-time as a hairdresser two days a week. Um, I used to work more than that before I had kids, but um, my favorite thing to do with hair was always updos. That was my favorite. And I've kind of learned some tips and tricks along the way to do really quick, on-the-go, um, casual kind of updos. And a lot of my friends and subscribers have, subscribers have been asking me to do um, like a quick, on-the-go, your hair is dirty, throw it up kind of tutorial. So I picked three out for you guys and let's just get started. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys try them and how you like them and how they turned out. And also let me know if you would like some easy beginner kind of hair tutorials like how to French braid, how to Dutch braid, how to rope braid because all those are kind of necessary in order to do these. So yes, these are easy but you kind of need to know those to kind of recreate these looks. Anyway, let's just get started. So. This was a style that I actually wore in a um, Instagram stories that I had posted. It's a side Dutch braid um, with a side bun. So I like to use Batiste dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I recommend this to all my clients. It's super treat cheap. You can get this at Target or TJ Maxx. I've seen it um, at drugstores as well. Uh, but I've tried so many, including high-end ones, and this is still my favorite. So I like all of the different scents, but usually when I do casual updos, it's on um, like third day hair. <laughs> so it's good to put a little bit of dry shampoo so that you have like a little bit of texture to your hair and it doesn't look greasy. You don't want your hair to look greasy in an updo. So you put that all through your hair. If you guys don't actually have oily hair or get oily hair, you don't really have to do this. You can just skip this step. Um, so what I do is I take a really obvious side part. You guys can pick whichever side that you want. And then um, gather the rest of it back. So I have this section here and I'm gonna do it down to the side. So I never really part perfectly to do my updos because I want it to look kind of casually, casual and messy. So um, you can part perfectly if that's your thing, but I kind of just use my fingers to part my hair. So if you want, you can take this hair, the back and this whole side and kind of just get it out of your way for now. Um, but I normally don't, but just for the sake of this video. So what I do is I take the top section and I'm going to start Dutch braiding it. So when I say Dutch braiding, that's an inside out braid. So it's like a French braid, but instead of going inward like this, you're gonna go under with the braid. So what I do is I stay kind of close to my hair, don't mind my baby hairs. I kind of stay close to my hairline in this. And don't worry if this looks tight to begin with because we will loosen it up. I don't really like the look of tight updos. So while you're braiding, keep the braid close to your head because if you start braiding out like this, when you put it down, you're going to have strange loops and things that you're going to have to fix and redo. So stay really close to your head when you're braiding. Sorry if you hear my dog barking. He probably hears me talking to myself and is thinking like there's somebody here. Okay. So I continue to Dutch braid. Again, I'm not being perfect with this. Staying close to my face. I go to about my ear and then I kind of just go down. So then you end up with something like this. So now I'm gonna take this side out and I'm gonna pull this out. So I want the braid to look as big and chunky as possible. This is the trick that everyone does. So many of my clients tell me, I try to do my braid like yours, but it always turns out super skinny and it's because they're not pulling it out. So make sure you pull your braid out. And I like to take this section too 
and pull it this all around my hairline so that looks nice and loose. Okay, so I kind of just put a bobby pin at this side for now. Now on this side, I kind of like some hair to come down along my face here as well. And I just gather all of my hair and come kind of like to the middle, not the middle, the side, but kind of closer to the back. And then I just take my hair and do a messy bun. So yes, that doesn't look great like that, but it's just a messy bun. Kind of tuck any loose pieces and then I pin so anything that looks kind of funky I kind of take the whole bun sorry I had to um, cut off because my dog was barking I think he had to go out and go pee so anyway so I have this side bun and then any pieces that were coming out I just tuck and kind of pin in but honestly, it looks pretty good. You might have to do the side bun a couple times before you get it right. You want it to be loose, but not too loose. And then I kind of tug at the back area. Most of the time, I literally don't look what I'm doing when I do this. It's kind of like it is what it is. So this is how it looks. It's kind of a loose braid with a bun to the side. Nothing too crazy, but it's something cool and easy that you can wear with jeans and a t-shirt, or you could dress it up as well. So let me know if you guys try this one. Okay, so up to number two. Um, what I'm gonna do is I part my hair down the center. If you guys don't like yourself with the center part, you're welcome to do it off center. So I part it down the center and then take it right above my ear. Again, I don't use a comb. I just pin this to the side. And this to the side just for a second um, and then I just take this whole back section and if you want to brush this you can I normally don't because I like it to be messy looking but um, for the sake of this video <laughs> I'll pretend that I'm actually neat um, so I just put this in a pony on the back make sure that it's low I kind of now just tug it out a little bit to give it a little bit more height and texture Okay, and then I take these front pieces. So it would be nicer if you guys had like those little tiny clear elastics so that it's easier to hide the rubber band, but I ran out of mine because I'm using them on my two-year-old daughter now. So now, here are your two options. You can either take these two pieces and French braid them or Dutch braid them like we did, or you can also do a rope braid. So I'm gonna do a rope braid for the sake of this video to guys show you guys something different, but there's lots of variations that you can do with this. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> don't mind my dog. <laughs> I am a German Shepherd, you guys, so he sounds a little ferocious, but I promise he's not. Okay, so I take <laughs> this rope braid and I'm gonna twist this forward and then wrap. Take the next section, twist this forward and then go over. Take the next section, twist this forward and then go over. So I'm gonna do this for that whole section. Now again, just like I do with everything else, I'm gonna tug at this and really loosen it. I don't like how it looks when it's tight. I have a tiny little pea head. And then, yep, just tug these sections too. Just be careful not to rip it out too much. It's a little bit harder to do this with a rope braid, but do the best you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little elastic at the bottom. Same thing over here. I always get like thrown off on the first piece of a new side. Okay, so. Wait, I have to... <laughs> okay, there we go. No. Nope. <laughs> there we go.
Okay, so the same thing on this side. Oh, burp. overdid it with one of those loops but anyway so <laughs> this is what we have so now you're gonna take the back and you I really don't have a problem just taking this and now looping it under and pinning it but if you find it easier you can put this like a little scrunchie at the bottom and then I'm gonna take it and loop it through the top, so you're going to have this little bun, make sure to try to crisscross some bobby pins while you're doing this, crisscrossing the bobby pins will help it stay more secure. I also like to just take the very ends of it and just put a little pin to the side just to kind of fan it out a little bit more pin to the side and any pieces that are down here I kind of just tuck under okay so you have this little bun kind of scenario you have this little bun kind of scenario. Then I take these and you're going to crisscross them right on top. So take your bobby pin, crisscross them, check in the front. You might need to take an extra pin Make sure all the pieces are in. But there you go. And I like to take some pieces out from around my face. So that's another really simple updo that you can dress up or dress down. Only took me like five minutes. So this is the second one. Let me know if you guys try this one. Okay, so this is my last and final look. So I'm again going to take my hair and I'm going to part it down the middle. Sorry that I look in the viewfinder a lot, but it's easy for me to see what I'm doing with my hair when I do that. Okay, so again, I don't do it perfectly down the middle. Um, so this one, um, you could do a Dutch braid, you could do a fishtail, you could do a <laughs> rope braid, whatever you wanna do. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do a Dutch braid just cause I think you can see the dimension in it a lot. So I'm just going to do a, an inside out braid or a Dutch braid all the way down. So again, you really want to stay, stay close to your head while you're braiding so you don't end up with any gaps or holes in your braid. So I'm just going to do my braid um, down to this section and then I'm just going to tie it off. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Again, stay close to your head and kind of try to stay going towards the back with this braid this time instead of close to your face. We're going more towards the back.
Alright. I'm definitely too old for this look right here. This is like back to the Britney days. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is pull my braid out again. Actually, I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna pull my braid out, tug at the top and the back, the front. Okay, when you get it how you want it, then I kind of take it back as far as I can towards the middle of the part and I put it in a messy bun. All right. Okay, so now we have that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just make sure your braid is further enough down further enough down so that when you go to do the um, messy bun you don't lose all of your braid. So sometimes it might be good just to braid a little extra down so you don't drop all the braid when you do the messy bun. Pull it all out as far as you can. Okay. Bring it again towards the middle. and do a messy bun. So again, these messy buns aren't perfect, so now I kind of look like Princess Leia, <laughs> like this. So now I'm just gonna take the buns and kind of pin them more towards the center. Again, I'm not doing anything perfectly. I'm not even really looking at what I'm doing. Just going by feel. You just kind of try to take it more towards the center because you want to make this look more like a full bun just at the middle. You also want to break up the middle part. So it's a good idea to just have a second mirror handy so that you can always like kind of check it out at the end. And also you want to look at it how it is from the front. I don't want to see all these weird loopy doops. Okay, so this is the last one. Um, I actually wish that I pulled this out a little bit more. No, I'm going to ruin it, but this is the look of the last one. It's just kind of Dutch braids with a loose kind of big messy bun in the middle. Let me know if you guys try this one, how it comes out. But yeah, that's my video for, video for today. I hope you guys like this one. Three easy updos. If there's anything in particular that you'd like me to do a tutorial for, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe for future updates. If you're already subscribed, welcome back, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on?